Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here and welcome back to another Division video. And in this video, I'm going to answer a question I've been getting a lot over the past few days. What are Phoenix credits? How do you get them? And what are they used for? It's something that I was pretty sure I knew the answer to, but I wanted to be 100% certain before I put it in video form. And in order for that to happen, I had to hit end game. My team and I hit level 30 this afternoon, and in doing so, I got the final piece of the puzzle. So let's go over everything you need to know. If you guys do enjoy this video and you do find it helpful, then a like would be super appreciated and comment down below and let me know if you have any questions. Now to begin with, Phoenix credits are an endgame currency that are used to purchase endgame items from the special items vendor in either the base of operations or the safe room in the very north of the dark zone. I say endgame and not high-end because these aren't used exclusively for high-end weapons. You can also spend Phoenix credits on superior items, cosmetic items, mods, and even Dark Zone keys. See, to anyone that played the beta, it's important to note that the Dark Zone you experienced wasn't really indicative of the Dark Zone in the final game, mainly because you won't be able to buy high-end weapons from the safe room at level 8 for cash. That was just put in the beta to give us something to mess around with. In the full game, you won't really see high-end weapons till end game. See, if you go to the very north of the Dark Zone in DZ06, you'll find a safe room right here, in this big church. If you then go and speak to the vendor, you'll see that much like all the other Dark Zone vendors, items have both a level and a Dark Zone rank requirement. However, this vendor only accepts Phoenix credits. The vendors in safe rooms DZ02 and 4 still sell stuff for Dark Zone funds, but this vendor is where you take your Phoenix credits. And as you scroll down the list, you'll see he not only sells weapons and gear, both high-end and superior, but also mods, blueprints, cosmetic items, and keys. So lots of stuff to buy. And if the Dark Zone isn't your thing, then once you reach endgame, you'll also find a special gear vendor at the top of the stairs in the tech wing. This guy doesn't sell the cosmetic stuff like the DZ vendor, but he still has stuff you can buy with Phoenix credits. But, now you know where to spend the credits, the question remains, where do they come from? And the answer is daily and weekly activities and challenge mode. See, once you hit level 30, daily missions will unlock. If you open up your map, you'll see these white circles appear around select missions. There are three each day. I've done the one for Madison already, but if you look at the Hudson Refugee Camp for example, the hard mode is marked as a daily, and the daily rewards are 15 Phoenix credits and some crafting materials, as well as the usual rewards you get for completing on hard mode. Jump over to the Lincoln Tunnel checkpoint however, and you'll see the daily mission is instead on the challenging difficulty mode, and instead rewards you with 20 Phoenix credits and some high-end crafting materials, on top of the base 30 Phoenix credits you get for completing it on challenging mode regardless. See, not every mission in the game has a challenging difficulty, but the ones that do will give you Phoenix credits as a reward. For example, the Russian Consulate on the east side of the map. This isn't a daily mission, but completing it on challenging will give you 30 Phoenix credits, but that is a one-time reward. The only thing I'm not 100% certain on, and I'll have to wait until next week to get a solid answer on that, is whether these challenging modes are repeatable weekly. You obviously can't do them back to back and keep getting Phoenix credits, because otherwise the economy would just be rubbish. But whether it's just a one-time reward, like completing a mission on hard, or whether we can try again next week will again remain to be seen. So for the time being, let's just focus on what we know. Daily missions and challenging mode missions are your source for Phoenix credits. So once you hit level 30, be sure to complete as many daily missions as possible. For me and my team today, the Lincoln Tunnel checkpoint just isn't happening. I've only just hit level 30, and challenging mode is definitely no joke. All the enemies are elites, and we basically got one shot even by the weakest enemies. So for some of the daily missions on challenging, you will need to gear up. But regardless, successfully completing a daily or challenging mission will reward you with Phoenix credits, and sometimes you'll even get bonus credits as drops from the final boss. And that, my friends, is pretty much it. That is all there is to it. That's what Phoenix credits are, that is how you get them, and that is where you go to spend them. Again, if you guys do have any questions, then let me know in the comments down below. But aside from that, if you did find this helpful, then again, a like would be super appreciated. And thanks again for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.